What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Overmotor channel. It has been a little bit of a minute, hasn't it? I uh, just finished cleaning the bike. I spent the entire morning just uh, making sure that everything was looking spick and span on it, getting any dirt off it and so on and so forth. Because uh, I was at Kroom the other day and doing some riding. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any video footage for you guys because my, <laughs> my dumb self decided to go down something that I probably shouldn't have and in doing so I uh, landed straight on my GoPro and uh, pretty much cracked the front of my helmet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. I was going down it right there and so that allowed me to no longer record that day so that was a bit of a bummer. Basically as you guys know or as you guys can tell in the title I I'm going to be practicing wheelies. Now, I've never wheelied pretty much anything before. I got maybe a couple kicks in on a regular traditional pedal bike uh, before, but that that pretty much is the extent of my wheelie capability. So this is my first day out. I've got a chest protector on. I've got my boots uh, just in case so I don't roll my ankle. And other than that, uh, I've got a beautiful open field area here. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere so nobody will get disturbed by it. All these businesses are closed because it is Saturday. So I am taking all precautions just to be courteous and nice to the people around me. And I think that is obviously step number one when you are going out and practicing wheelies for the first time. I know a lot of people go down to parks and things like that. I'm just going to practice it here to be honest with you. I think it's perfect. It's a flat, uh, open, grassy area now I've never like I said wheelied before so this is gonna be a bit of a slower video but my goal by the end of the video today is to be able to pop up a wheelie with uh, both feet on the pegs and it doesn't need to be crazy uh, but I also kind of want to find the balance point um, not necessarily when I'm in full wheelie mode just like maybe I don't know I've seen a lot of people with their feet down like this like both feet just hanging and apparently they're able to get a better sense of uh, where the we um, where the balance point is because they can always just kind of like hop off the bike and there's a little bit more of a safety net there. You guys might be asking why I'm attempting this. And really the reason is that in exactly one month from now, we have the Tampa Mega Ride in Florida. And that's about 45 minutes away from me. Uh, half an hour, 45 minutes, depending on traffic. So I'm obviously going to be attending all three days there. It is from the 1st till the 3rd of January, March. <laughs> and they have a day ride and then they have kind of like an unofficial night ride. Those are gonna be super fun to go to, but of course I also wanna practice a little bit of wheelies so I can do a little bit of, you know, showing off and whatnot. <laughs> like it obviously won't be great, but if I have a month to practice, at least maybe I'll be able to pop up something. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started with the wheelie practice. They'll put both their feet down and pretty much what you wanna do is obviously control the rear brake so that you know in case you loop back too far you can always hit that but pretty much my goal is I'm gonna be popping and then just kind of like pulling back and in doing so giving it some throttle to try and pop the wheelie up so let's do that whoa okay yeah so that right up and uh, pulled the bike completely up so at least I'm uh, getting it up now I just gotta be able to control it a little bit better so pretty much same thing Okay, so that was pretty good. For anybody that's following along, because, you know, with me learning this for the first time, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be watching this, learning this for the first time as well, and want some tips or some insight as to what I'm doing. I am basically going to, I'm going to go forward and like push forward. In doing so, I'm going to lean back once the forks are compressed and give it some throttle. And then, of course, two fingers on the brake, on the rear brake at all times. So, Okay, so that felt pretty good as well. There's obviously, it's nowhere near the balance point. Like it's it's pretty far back there. At least it feels like <laughs> for me. 
That was that was a little bit better. I'm just gonna be practicing that for a little bit. I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod. Just uh, yeah, just do some of these. Basically, up and then back down. That's too far, but then you hit the rear brake and then you're all good. So I've had this bike for anybody wondering. I've had the Suron now for mm, three. Oh, that was, that was pretty decent. Uh, probably three or four months. But I've ridden e-bikes now for a good two years because I used to have a Stealth Bomber uh, Enduro e-bike. I'll uh, throw a picture of it up over here. And that was a fantastic bike. But because it was a hub motor, basically it was impossible to get this kind of torque to the point where the wheel comes up like that so quickly. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, hub motors, they are obviously very heavy in the rear, which is great because all your weight is in the rear so you can pop the front up quite nicely. But unlike a uh, mid-drive motor where to change the, the amount of torque that a uh, motor is able to give, um, you can't just do it with a sprocket. You have to actually have a different winding inside of the motor. Oh, that moved forward a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going back and forth between riding and talking. The uh, motor winding will either give you more top speed or more torque. And so those are your two options. You, you can't really switch it unless you uh, get a different motor entirely. And so my winding was more for top speed because <laughs> I was using it more for commuting, and so I wanted more power delivery on the high end. Ooh, that was that was pretty good. And not so much torque, because obviously the bike wasn't really made for off-road, although I customized it to kind of have that off-road look to it. The suspension was absolute garbage, and you have a 50-pound hub motor in the rear. Ooh, okay. That was pretty good. There was like a little... Yeah, so long story short, there was absolutely no low-end torque for me to be able to do a wheelie, especially practicing it for the first time. Um, so I never even really bothered with that bike. And so that's also one of the main reasons why I got the Suron is just because this is so much more of a, you know, of a toy, I guess. Whereas the other thing, it's more, you know, the Stealth Bomber is more for commuting. It's, it's like your daily driver. And a lot of people were asking me like, oh, which one should I get? Honestly... I, I lean more towards the Suron, obviously. I, I, I sold my Stealth Bomber for Suron. But hey, each to their own, right? I mean, like, if you're, if you're using it for commuting, uh, you really can't beat the efficiency of a hub motor. Ooh, okay. That went a little bit. Okay, so I've been practicing this now for probably 25 minutes or so. Uh, what I'm able to do now is kind of just keep my feet down at the bottom and hold the rear brake when uh, I hit the balance, or not balance point, but when I when I feel uncomfortable. So let me show you kind of what I'm at right now. <laughs> nope, that was uh, dog water, but let me try again. There we go, okay, so that was pretty good. That was actually really good, I really felt good on that one. I'm getting pretty comfortable with, with this whole, you know, feet down right now actually and it's surprising to me because I've got a uh, so this is my bike I've got a riser kit on my uh, seat and the reason is because I've got this massive battery and basically <clears throat> you've got the cells right over here and then you've got your BMS or your battery management system right over here and that pushes the seat out ever so slightly because usually the battery is all condensed into one piece and the battery management system is just at the top to be able to uh, add more power uh, to the battery without <laughs> you know pushing it up they had to add it into the rear and so that requires that seat extender unfortunately I try and go back just a little bit further get a little bit more comfortable okay nope. <laughs> Bonk. okay the thing I've noticed is when your feet are out here, you don't really have any control. <clears throat> and so when you're wheeling, you're going like left and right. Let's just say that's not very optimal. See, like, I don't know how well it comes across on camera. But you like lean either one way or the other, depending on 
when you pop up, kind of like which way you're slightly leaning to begin with. And it just kind of exaggerates it over time when you're doing the wheelie. And so that's where I think once I've got the feet up, I can kind of like <clears throat> move my knees back and forth to just kind of, you know, get the right balance point. Okay, that one felt pretty decent. I also learned you got to look at the horizon. So you can't focus on your bike, you got to focus on what's in front of you, basically. Whoa! Woo! Oh man! I'm testing the uh, balance point right now. There's obviously not a lot of distance. <laughs> and that's one of the biggest things, it's, it's not very consistent. It's... You know, sometimes I lean too far back, sometimes I lean too far forward and don't get any pop. Sometimes I'm leaning too far left, sometimes I'm leaning too far right. Any tips you guys have for me would be much appreciated as well. Ooh, okay. That was like right on the balance point and then I leaned too far back. All right, this is the fit. <laughs> Let me know what you think. The yellow with the red, it doesn't work at all, but hey, whatever. Sometimes you gotta just go a little crazy, just have a little fun. All right, back to the wheelies. All right, I'm gonna now try wheelies with both feet on and see what that's like. I'll tell you what, one thing that I immediately notice between the two is when you have the feet on, you're not leaning with so much weight so far back. You can't like, lee, uh, you know, bring your feet all the way back to uh, pretty much allow you to bring the bike up super easy. It's a lot more difficult when you've got all your weight on the bike, act like actually on the bike. I'll tell you what, that was a little closer than I uh, than I thought I'd get today. <laughs> that wasn't too, too bad. Obviously on video it looks like, you know, I'm probably only this far off the ground, but to me it feels like I'm all the way back here. It's crazy. So I'm gonna pop you guys back on my helmet and we're gonna continue doing that because that actually felt quite nice. All right, boys, you're back on my helmet. I actually got that a lot quicker than I was expecting to. I've been out here for probably about an hour and a half or two hours. All right, cool, so check this out. This is the, uh, there's always something that goes wrong. So this is my new uh, visor, and this is the new mount that I have, and uh, it no longer will stick. It will, it just, it won't attach. whoop de doo so <laughs> I uh, am going to continue to put my GoPro right on the uh, mount there that I've got, and, uh, continue filming from there. So that's ever so slightly annoying. Unfortunately, you won't be able to hear me talking while I'm riding, which I guess for some people might be a positive thing. I think that counts pretty damn well. I was not expecting to have such good balance just by bringing my feet up onto the pegs, but it completely made a world of difference. So I feel like when you get comfortable with the two feet down and just uh, in general having the wheel up, then switch to having two feet on the pegs as soon as possible because it just, it completely changes the feel of it. I'm going to move you guys over to uh, a little bit more of a sunny spot.
gentlemen, that'll be it for the first episode of wheelie practice. <laughs> My bars don't like me very much right now. Pretty much, long story short, I've been out here for probably about around three hours and I've gotten now to the point where I feel comfortable with both feet on the pegs being able to pop it up, which for me as a definition is a wheelie. So you could say that I learned wheelies in like three hours, which is pretty fucking insane considering I've never done anything wheelie related before. So uh, I'm super stoked on that. I'm super excited to see uh, where my riding is going to be in the next month. Unfortunately, it seems every time I film something, <laughs> something goes wrong. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to post a lot in, uh, in the recent weeks but I hope to uh, up the ante a little bit, get a little bit more going. And of course, I'm gonna be filming the uh, 2024 Tampa Mega Ride, which is gonna be super exciting. You guys are gonna be able to see it right here on the YouTube channel. So make sure you tune in for that and make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. You guys have uh, shown me so much love in the recent videos. Uh, if you have any tips for me as far as wheelies go, make sure to comment that down below. I'd love to hear it as well as if you just have any comments in general about uh, what I should do differently or what people should know when they're practicing wheelies. It's always super helpful stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.